This week on QDL, we talk about ergonomics with Rob Bellinger from Olympus. More when we come back. QDL. QDL is your weekly look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest. And uh, with us today is Rob Bellinger from Olympus. And How you doing, Dirk? today's going to be a little bit different. Normally when you come in, you've been in here lots of times, you'll yeah. bring some sort of cool equipment, high-tech equipment from, uh, from Olympus, and we'll look at software, and we'll look at how measurement software, and we'll look That's at right. really fancy optics and motorized stages basically really get into the technology behind a lot of these Olympus products and the software behind them. Today, we're talking about something completely different, but maybe just as important or maybe more important. I would say more important. Today, we're talking about the ability of the microscope to adapt to the operator. And a lot of our microscope tools are designed for working at them and working at them for long hours. So they might be in an assembly per uh, person, and an assembly line where they're you know, interconnecting components or checking for quality and they're working in front of their microscope for long periods of time. So ergonomics becomes critically important for them because they don't want to hurt their neck, their back, wrist or anything else while they're working in a microscope for long periods of time. That's, that's true. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people, we think of a microscope and we think of, of something, oh, I need to look at something small, so I run over to the microscope, I put it under there, I look at it. But we're talking about produ literally production people who are cases. got their face against a microscope for eight hours a day, five days a week. That's right. And they're either doing production or quality inspection, and they're working long term, and there might be lots of people doing it, lots of microscopes at a long uh, lab table or something, and ergonomics is super important because the cost of somebody going out due to a, a back issue or something is really high for companies, and they want their employees to be comfortable and working in front of the microscope without pain. <laughs> okay. so, sh so show us how, how, how uh, ergonomics are addressed here. So looking at a microscope like this, you have it on a table, and there's going to be different operator sizes from short to tall and all kinds of you know, sizes in between. So what the operator wants is to be in an ergonomic position, sitting upright. But in most cases, when you get to a microscope, you might be on a table and you have to hunch over to look through it. And you're not going to be very comfortable working at it like this, bent back, bent over neck. You want it to be better than that. I mean, if you're coming up for just a second, it might work and you're leaving, no big deal. But if you're going to work at it for hours, you don't want to be hunched over. So the most important thing um, to start with is, believe it or not, the chair. An adjustable height chair so an operator can lower or high, raise the chair so where their legs are nice and perpendicular and they have their feet on the ground and they can sit at the table comfortably. And then the next thing might be adjusting a tilt of the eyepieces. So this microscope, the SZX16 is what we have here today, this has an adjustable height adapter and an adjustable tilting trinoc with long eye tubes. Okay. So what this gives us, first off, the long eye tubes will reach out so the operator can be a little further away from the microscope. The tilting head allows them to adjust, so maybe this is all that's required is the tilting so I can look through here, but again, I'm still kind of bending my neck yeah, to I look see, at you're it. you're still kind of bent I'm, over. I'm a, a little bit. taller yeah. than the microscope here yeah. still. So the most ergonomic way would be to raise the height of the observation tube, we call this, with the eyepieces. So by adjusting this knob here, we can raise the height of the observation tube to be at level with me. I can adjust the tilt angle of this. And now I can be straight backed, feet on the ground, barely bending my neck and looking and observing my sample. Again, if I'm working at this for long periods of time, maybe I have to solder components under here. I'm going to be working and I want to be as ergonomic and comfortable as possible. So this adjustment happens and it can be adjusted per operator. And it, the adjustment happens in what we call the infinity space okay. behind the optics here. So as you adjust this, it's not going to change your image. Oh, that was my or, question, right, yeah, right. Or focus. Okay. It's not going to change the field of view. Um, and the other important factors of this, once you have the adjustments, is that the base is comfortable to work on as well. 
So all of our bases, like this one here is our standard base, but we also have LED lighting bases. They all are thin and have the ergonomic you know, sidewalls yeah, here. No, no, uh, no, yeah, no uh, tough, no rough sharp corner to put corners, your, your yeah. hand against. This yeah. allows you to set your hands here to work on the part, to move it around, to use tools under. Um, then everything else is within reach. So when the operator is working at it, they can reach up to adjust focus or adjust zoom and everything's right at their hand reach. They don't have to reach behind something or move away from the microscope to look at what they're doing. They'll be able to reach right up and adjust anything they need to adjust. Right. And um, some of the other key features, the tilting tri-knock has the camera port still. Okay. So this system can still be hooked to digital imaging features and have all those advanced things that we typically show off a lot, measurements and picture taking and live video. And I noticed monitors. this has got two objectives on, on it. Uh, that, this, that's this particular model. This particular model is capable of uh, having two objectives. So you okay. can go from a low mag to a higher magnification range. That isn't, you know, it's an option for the SZX series microscopes. Um, currently in our model line, the SZX7 10 and 16 models will all interface with the ergonomic height adjuster and tilting long tube tri -knock. Okay. And it is even, um, you know, able to retrofit to those models if you currently have them. You can retrofit to these components to add the ergonomic features to the microscope. So this, this is something that's, uh, if you're buying a new scope, is this standard to a new scope, or is it still just an, an option that you would buy with a, with a new scope? That's correct. It, it, these would be options. This okay. intermediate module and the tilting long tube tri-knock okay. are individual options. Um, you know, before these launched, it would have had regular tri-knocks and no height adjustments, so it can, just the they can remove that, yeah. add the longer tri-knock, yeah. and add the height adjuster. Um, so if ergonomics is of importance, they're going to probably have these as a standard configuration. Okay. Um, and but if it's still a scope that isn't in ergonomic needs, you can get a regular microscope at a you know and not have the extra components. But and retrofitable, uh, like you said, this is retrofitable to uh, if you happen to have an older model of of this or one that didn't come with uh, that, you can still retrofit this onto there. That's correct. Even any of the SZX models, even the ones from over 10 years ago, they had an SZX9 and a 12 model that have been discontinued for a long time, but these can still retrofit to those models. Okay. And so, yeah, a lot of those are still in place, still in use, you know, being worked on, and they might want to retrofit to add the ergonomic features. Okay. So. Well, that's that's great. I mean, so ergonomics is is uh, really important, and like you said, kind of the key bits key bits here for anybody who's following along mm -hmm. is you said you want to you want to be able to sit straight, sit straight, sit straight, back straight. And the microscope comes to you, not you to the microscope. Exactly. Essentially. You don't want to yeah. be leaning over because your head can have a lot of weight and it can strain on your muscles for long periods of inspection time. So you want to be comfortable and nice and straight back and it allows for longer periods of work without any stress on your muscles. Okay, perfect. Well, Rob, yeah. thanks for joining us today. Thank all you yeah. for joining us. Uh, as usual, if you have any products or people you'd like us to bring on a show, let us know. You can send it uh, that request to us at qdl at qualitydigest.com and we will bring them on the show. Thanks for joining us and we will see you on the next QDL. So long.